Visitors flock to the Swiss canton of Torgau for its varied landscape, its centuries-old half-timbered houses, and the scenery along Lake Constance. A stroll along its shore also offers a view of neighboring Germany. Inland, Torgau beckons with castles and vineyards. Pinot Noir grapes and the local Müller Torgau white variety are both grown here. Michael Broger works without chemicals and does most of the cultivation by hand to preserve the soil. With my wines, you definitely notice the difference between different vintages. I don't add sugar or concentrate my wines. That means you can really taste whether we had a hot summer or a dry autumn, or if it was especially rainy that year. Cool nights and hot afternoons in the autumn are perfect ripening conditions. At least 50 families in Torgau Canton still cultivate grapes. Michel Bruger produces seven different wines. He does tastings for guests, many of them regular customers, just twice a year. But friends and family often get to sample the vintages. <laughs> Arenenberg Castle is nearby. Louis Napoleon, who later became Emperor Napoleon III, spent part of his childhood here. His room was in this part of the castle, which looks east toward Paris. His mother, Hortense de Boarnay, was exiled from France after Napoleon I was forced to abdicate. Dominique Gugel is the head of the Napoleon Museum in the castle. The family's rooms have been restored to their original state. Arenenberg was a very important location in the 19th century. People knew that the pretender to the throne of France lived here. So the entire continent's royalty came here on visits. Napoleon III lived here until he turned 31. Among the famous guests at his mother's court were the Hungarian composer Franz Liszt and the French writer Alexandre Dumas. Visitors also come for Arenenberg Castle's landscaped park, which covers 13 hectares. Arenenberg Park is only an indirect reflection of the canton, because Thurgau has such a diverse landscape. In southern Thurgau you see the alpine foothills, in the Thur Valley there are river floodplains, and here in the Untersee we see this harmonious, lovely landscape. The village of Gottlieben is just a few kilometers away. Founded in the late 13th century, nowadays the village is home to 300 residents. A wealth of half-timbered houses draws many celebrities and ordinary tourists to the village. Dieter Bachmann runs a gourmet confectioner's here. Gottlieben is a real jewel. It's peaceful, especially in the winter. Very quiet. And next door is a European bird sanctuary, so there isn't any traffic here. The only loud place in Gottlieben is the Hüppen Bakery. Hüppen are wafer rolls filled with chocolate or sweet creams. Dieter Bachmann runs the Hüppen factory. The villager's speciality is said to have been a favorite of Napoleon III. Hüppen are part of Switzerland's culinary heritage. It's wonderful to head a company with such a rich history. At the close of the day, we enjoy the evening sun at the lake, just one of Torgau's many attractions.